In episode 6 of Slutter Ascension, we can see Uni transforming into an infernus and making a huge blast. But this arises new questions. First question, why Uni didn't transform without absorbing energy again? It can be one of the following reasons. 1. The energy absorbed earlier isn't enough or it can transform only if shot just after absorbing energy and as Uni wasn't shot after episode 4 again, the absorbed energy may have lost. I think the reason is mostly the amount of energy absorbed earlier isn't enough because in episode 6, you can see this new kind of glow on Uni chest which we didn't see earlier. This new symbol didn't appear even instantly after it shooted those energy waves. We also see the slugs are glowing but not yet converted into babies. So I guess this glowing represents slug energy being transferred and when energy transfers, they turn into babies. And with this new energy observed, Uni reached its new minimum threshold. And when shot after charged up, it was able to transform as infernus and made a strong move. So, second question is, how is observed energy for this one single shot? I guess the answer is both yes and no. Let me explain in detail. I feel yes, it can only do one shot as an infernus. But overall, no, because next time it may use other slex energy. In wiki of next episode, it's already revealed that Uni uses different powers every time it gets shot. And there are no slugs left for Uni to absorb energy again. So, as Uni already absorbed Burpee's energy, next time it performs move of other slugs like Tomato or Fletcher Linkus whose energy is absorbed earlier. These two are the main questions and answers about Uni that was in my mind after seeing this episode. Do you have any other theories or questions about this? Let me know in comments. Also, I have some thoughts about the new proto form Baby Slugs. I will make a video on it soon. Subscribe to get notified for that. Thanks for watching.